right after the coach is fired, the dancing, the comments, do you feel like it's a bad look by Giannis and the Bucks in poor taste? It was a very bad look, a very bad look. And I'm not accusing anybody of anything other than appearances. I think that Giannis is a superstar in this league, and if he wasn't enamored with the coach, he has every right not to be enamored with the coach. I think Damian Lillard is a superstar in this league. I'm not saying he felt that way, but if he was enamored with the coach, he had every right to be not, not enamored with the coach. Um, at the in-season um, in tournament in Las Vegas, obviously red flags were raised as we articulated on this show because uh, Giannis and his response to a question of mine about the team and he went into it about the coach and how we just didn't seem, we, we seem off kilter, disorganized. He was using words like that, which is not something that's good for any coach to hear about themselves. So I knew the handwriting was on the wall. You know me, Molly. I came on this show on three separate occasions and said that I didn't think that Adrian Griffin was going to last a year. And sure enough, he didn't last more than 43 games. Having said all of that, the bottom line is this. This man went through 14 interviews before he finally got a head coaching job on his 15th try over the years. Um, this man was fired. To, ver to have the very first game after his dismissal, and y'all are acting like that, clearly um, you're either tone deaf, uh, which is bad in and of itself, or you really didn't care. You wanted the world to know how happy you are that he's gone. And I just think that when you look at it from that perspective, um, to be on camera doing that, knowing everybody's watching, knowing yeah. that everybody's talking about how he got let go and you got the new coach, Doc Rivers, coming in there shortly. Um, these guys are usually class personified. They conduct themselves in very high and pristine fashion. Uh, they're to be admired and revered. And then last night happened. And I think the best thing to say is that it was not their shining moment. What I would tell you is this. It, it, it's, not, I, it's not that I don't see where J.J. Redick is coming from. It's just that um, if you're going to tell a story, tell a story. Um, if you don't believe Doc Rivers, a coach you played for, is going to get them a championship, J.J. Redick is more than qualified to make that point. Got love and respect for him. You know that. But the flip side to it is that as unfortunate as it was for them to fire Adrian Griffin, the handwriting is on the wall when you have players talking about how they don't respect the coach, how we're disorganized and we're discombobulated. And you're using those kind of words like Giannis used weeks ago that made headlines everywhere because you're highlighting the level of ineptitude that they were not accustomed to when being coached under Mike Budenholzer all of these years. And so when you go and you're giving up 121 points per 100 possessions and you're ranking 28th or, 20, uh, you know, 27th or 28th in defensive of, of the efficiency in the month of January after finishing fourth overall in the NBA last year and you look like you can't stop a cold – you know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. John Horst is a pretty damn good executive. I think he's proven that. And major props to him for just being able to keep Giannis in Milwaukee all of this time. But he's not making a move like this lightly. There's no way in hell that he's going to roll up in there 43 games in and make that kind of decision. And here's where I'll throw lean on my experience, Molly. Mm -hmm. I'm a beat writer for the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to throw anybody under, but I'm just, I have a job to do, and we talk in sports here. I just got to tell a story. During the Philadelphia 76ers, Randy Ayers is coaching the Philadelphia 76ers. They're in East Rutherford, New Jersey, in a game against the Nets. It was his first year as the head coach. And Glenn Big Dog Robinson, no disrespect, big-time player, big-time offensive player, comes to Philadelphia and wasn't too fond of playing for Randy Ayers. And he walks off the sidelines after being taken out of the game. He walks off the court towards the sideline. He bumps his shoulder to Randy Ayers. Billy King, Billy King fired him the next day. And I mm. said, what happened, man? And he talked about you cannot have players 
openly feeling that way about a coach and keep the coach. It's not fair. It's not right. I know that. But no coach can coach his team if they don't have the respect of their players. That's what happened in Milwaukee. Not physically, but yeah. subliminally, that's what happened. But Stephen and A., that's, that's why in any Adrian Griffin is gone. If there's no respect, I mean, right? Never but that, 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 yeah, yeah. But that's why Adrian Griffin is gone because the players clearly, and four games into this season, Molly, they had to pull him to the side and tell him, "Brooke Lopez don't need to be out there switching and trapping at the three-point line. You need to get his big behind down in the low post and guard the rim." They're looking at it like, "Why do we have to tell you that? You can't see that Brooke but Lopez don't need to be out there." Do you think it was really a fair <laughs> shake for him? Like, I understand. Listen, they want to make a run. They they've got. I don't Dave think it was fair. Ready to go, but. Yeah, I mean, that, that I don't was think really it was fair, but, but here's the deal. It wasn't fair, but it was necessary because even though we may feel it's not fair after 43 yeah. games, as Wendy said yesterday, you can't find anybody in the NBA that's saying that's a bad decision, which is another indictment against Adrian Griffin, unfortunately. I don't say that with any pleasure. I truly don't. I was rooting for him, and I hope he gets another job. But when that kind of stuff is being said about you, you cannot stay. 